Well, welcome to All Classic Car and this collection of 125 photographs of classic pickup trucks. And we begin with a early 1950s Bedford PC Ute or Coupe Utility all the way from Australia. That's followed by the first of several mini pickups to feature in this particular video and the Mini 95 as it was known by this point in time, the late 1970s, 1980. That's followed by a Peugeot 404 pickup. This was in Portugal several years ago. And a rather wonderful pre-war Austin pickup truck based on the Austin 12, I think that was. In the late 30s, probably 1939 Chevrolet. There's a Bedford Ute and a Morris Marina pickup in the background also. And the first of several Land Rovers. This is a short wheelbase Land Rover Series 1 in the livery of Merioneth Fire Service in Wales. Probably one of the oldest pickups to feature here. This is a Ford Model T. The side view of a pickup stroke tipper Bedford CA Mark 1. Very much a barn find being dragged out of a building on a field. That's followed by a long wheelbase 110 Land Rover. It appears to be a Series 3, albeit on a slightly earlier registration. And over to the Donington Classic Truck Show. And this is an Austin A40 pickup truck of the early 1950s. Side view now, another Land Rover. This one in the livery of a Foden main agent. Very smart indeed. This is a Series 3. Ex-military World War II Dodges comes up next, 998 UXB. And the Morris Miley pickup, very smart indeed. These were either six or 800 weight rated back in the day. This obscurity turned up at the Goodwood Revival many years ago, a Honda T360 from 1964, I believe this was a prototype. And by comparison, a vehicle that was produced in large numbers, this is a Bedford CF pickup Mark 1, dropside pickup body on it. Another Austin A40, very smart, 10 weight, half ton pickup truck. Continuing with these classic pickups, we've got another long wheelbase Series 1 Land Rover, WPX 55, very original looking example. The rear three-quarter view of a Ford Model AA with a drop-side pickup body on it. To America now and a Chevrolet El Camino of the 1970s or early 1980s. Very distinctive vehicle indeed, very popular in the USA. While popular here was the Morris Minor pickup. This is a very smartly turned out example with a saloon bonnet. The commercials don't usually have a strip on the side. That's followed by a custom cabbed Ford Transit Mark 1. Again, this was at the Donington Truck Show quite a few years ago now. As was this Thames 400E, uh, drop side of 1958 716 GPJ. This uh, conversion was called the Forest Rover, the Land Rover Forest Rover. Um, created by an outside concern, it wasn't a factory built machine. And on a slightly snowy day at Donington, we've got a Phase 1 Vanguard pickup. Quite a rare machine, I know the RAF used those quite a lot. To America and a 1939 to 47 half ton Dodge. I believe this one is 1946. One of only 400 or so produced the Austin A35 pickup. An unusual vehicle. This was at Goodwood Revival in 2006. This is a Tempo Matador, a German light truck. And this is a 1941 to 1946 Chevrolet half ton truck down at the Malvern Showground several years ago. Classic vehicle event. I think this was also at Malvern on a different occasion. This is a 4D83W pickup truck, 10 weight and half ton rated. 
and at a sale also at Malvern uh, is this unusual Bedford CA. Spotted for sale quite a few years ago now, an REO Speedwagon. Quite an unusual vehicle. This is a standard 10 based pickup truck of the mid 1950s. Goodwood Revival in 2006. The same events a few years later is this Chevrolet 3100. And this unusual vehicle is a Morris Series 3 pickup truck of the late 1950s. This was on a classic vehicle road run a few years back. Back to Donington and the chassis cab for a Mark 1 Transit pickup truck. Very smart example, twin wheels on the back. Looking a little, a little forlorn is this Simca Arond with a Vauxhall E Series for company. This was in Portugal. Probably still there as far as I know. Back to this country and we have an early 1960s long bed Chevrolet. Somewhat smaller pickup this time. This is a Mini 95. Once again at Goodwood, one of these period support vehicles. Always plenty of those around. Still at Goodwood. This was in 2015. This is a standard Atlas. Very rare machine. Note this strengthening between the back of the cab and the rear bed. That triangulated piece. Goodwood again. This was a Chevrolet. Very much in working, working clothes. Down to Malvern and this wonderful Peugeot Q3A pickup truck. I love this. It's the only one I've ever seen. Where is it now? This was probably 15 years ago. A couple of E83W pickups now. One a steel-backed version, the other a wooden drop side body. And an ice cream van based on a Mini 95. Something of a rarity in this country at least, an international pickup truck. Very, very original looking vehicle indeed, preserved just as is, and all the better for it. To Snowy Donington again, and uh, two E83W pickups, the nearest one in the livery of White Horse Brewery down in Oxfordshire. World War II era Hillman Tilly now. And an early 1960s, early to mid 1960s Ford 250 in the livery of the Shelby American organization. Still at Goodwood a few years before, and a Cobra in the background, and the Team Hairy Canary mini pickup. A Series 1 Land Rover. If you recognize your vehicle in this particular collection, please say hello in the comments section. Or if you can add information on the particular vehicle shown, by all means pop a note down there. And to Portugal and a dusty building and we found this Toyota. I believe it's gone now but it's preserved in photographic form if nothing else and that's followed by another A40 pickup, a very shiny example. The rear view of another one, another A40 pickup that's been doing the local shows for the last 20 or so years. JDM 961, really smart, photographed on the transport yard. Another Peugeot 404, there are several of these particular vehicles in this collection of photographs. This one looks like it's still in use, quite smart still. And also in grey is this Morris 6 or 800 weight pickup, based on the Miner of course. But unlike the Miner Saloon, these had a separate chassis. The pickup and the van had a separate chassis. That's followed by a very shiny, somewhat modified Ford of the late 1950s I would guess. Again, please let me know in the comments if you've got any corrections. There's a Chevrolet 3100, half ton, with the five window cab. A J40 pedal car alongside it. This is an Austin J4. One of BMC's mid-size pickup trucks of the late 1950s. And similar size but restored is this Barkas B1000. This was at the NEC Classic Car Show several years back. Eight registration, so probably a lot newer than it actually looks. And a late 1930s international. I've got a brochure review elsewhere on the channel for this particular type of vehicle, so check that out if you like internationals. 
and it's followed by a chassis cab for a rare Volvo PV444 pickup. This was also at the NEC Classic Car Show. One of the very few survivors now, a Morris J2 all steel pickup. Quite a rarity now. Again, like the standard Atlas with the triangulated piece behind the cab for extra strength. And that's followed by a fairly early Morris Marina pickup. Still plenty of classic pickups to come. And here we've got an interestingly bodied Austin 7 built with light haulage in mind. Somewhat lowered, but otherwise very original. There's this circa 1939 Chevrolet at the uh, restoration show at the NEC a couple of years ago. Back to Portugal. A few years back, we were driving along and we spotted this E83W at the side of the road, seemingly going nowhere, but in very sound, solid condition. And to Malvern, 2010, I think this was, in a Bedford J series. Very smartly restored truck, 1966. Very original looking split screen VW. Another Chevrolet, again preserved in its original paint. It looks like it's been waxed over, possibly with linseed oil, just to preserve the finish. This was an auction at the Donington Truck Show a few years back. It's a standard Vanguard Phase 1 pickup, rare vehicle. In the Tatton Park Classic Car Show, we've got a Studebaker, a very rare sight in this country, and a fairly rare standard Atlas camper behind it. I do like this. This was at Western Park quite a few years ago now, maybe 15 years ago. It's a Peugeot 301 of the 1930s. Very smart little loader lugger. We've got another long wheelbase Series 1 Land Rover. And over to Woodford, where the Avro Heritage Museum resides. And this comma, underneath the Avro Vulcan XM603, originally housed starter gear to fire up the V-bomber. Next, a vintage show that we went to, and there's a Simca Arond, along with a Renault Juvacatra on the back of a rare Jensen lorry. Another steam rally, and a large turnout of classic commercials. And here we've got a Unimog from the late 1970s. Wartime Dodge now, if someone can tell me the specific model, I'm not quite sure what that is. WC51 perhaps, I don't know, I'm not too well up on those. That's followed by another Morris Minor pickup, another one with a saloon bonnet. A few other commercial vehicles in the background as well. Love the old Morris commercial, 1920s drop side pickup body on there, in the livery of PC and JM Wyatt, Cartage Company. Nice little lost in half ton van, circa 1970-71. Rare steel sun visor on that one. And then ex military, a big old Humber. Continuing with these classic trucks and pickup trucks, we've got a 1930s Bedford. Very smart early 50s Chevrolet 3100 half ton pickup truck. Very nice. First year, I think, with the one piece windscreen. And to a little airfield not far from us, we've got a pair of Land Rovers, one a long wheelbase pickup, the other a short wheelbase, both Series 3s. That's followed by an MAN or MAN diesel lorry, I'm guessing early 1960s. Very smart little Model T Ford pickup truck, SV9453. Right-hand drive, so possibly assembled at the Ford plant in Trafford Park, Manchester. And this we spotted in the building at a scrapyard, long since gone now. And it was based on an Armstrong Siddeley, but was that just for a film, or was that actually built back in period? And to land on now again, and uh, several years ago, in 1964, Series 2A 109 Ford Control Land Rover. And here, this was in a Welsh scrapyard, coincidentally, this is the decaying remains of a Ford P100 pickup truck, the Sierra-based example. 1960s Ford, next. Still plenty of classic pickup trucks to come. 
Both British, American and European have got a side view now of a Series 1 Landy as used as a recovery vehicle at a Welsh garage. Is it still there? This was a few years back, so it may well have gone by now. And to Gaydon, the classic lorry show, we've got a Series 1, or Phase 1 rather, standard Vanguard pickup. Very smart in the livery of a company in Kent. An Austin Morris J4. The old steel body. The ut or coupe utility from Australia. This is based on the Ford Prefect E493A. This was also a Gaydon. There are a pair of V8 pilots in the background. And here, talking of which, is a review of a Ford V8 pilot pickup. A very, very handsome vehicle indeed. And a big chunky GMC of the late 1950s, I would guess. Review of a 1964 registered standard pickup truck based on the Pennant, I would imagine. Although 1964 is a few years after the Pennant was actually produced. And also at Tatton Park, a very rare Morris J-Type Tipper pickup truck. The only one of those I've ever seen. Really, really nice with little vehicle. Same venue and a late 1930s Chevrolet. I think 1939, looking at the grill. This unusual machine is a cut-down Vauxhall saloon that was made into a truck. Such conversions happened a lot during and after the war. And here a bright red Simca Arond. I wonder if this is the slightly rusty example that featured earlier on the back of the Jensen lorry. It could well be. Not the best photo, but this is a Ford Zephyr Mark II Ute, or pickup truck. Look at note the Ute registration. The Chevrolet 875 UYK from 1957. This is an unusual one. This is a Vanguard Phase 3. Um, it's either a pickup, but I guess it could also be an Australian Ute. If you know more, please let me know in the comments. Series 1 Land Rover in a Welsh scrapyard. I think this uh, this particular location was cleared many years ago, so it won't, it won't still be there, I'm afraid. And a really nice looking Chevy 3100 now, the half ton pickup truck, left hand drive, split screen, really, really nice, really, really nice example. This used to appear at local shows quite regularly years ago, but I've not seen it for a long time. A home converted Triumph Herald has been made into a pickup. The separate chassis helps, of course. Another Chevy here. Some pretty cool sign right in there for Nuts Custom Speed Shop in Kentucky. A very straight Peugeot 504 pickup from the 1980s. These were built for a long time, but most of those that have survived are in pretty, pretty tired condition. But this is really nice. Continuing with these classic pickups, we've got another Morris 1000. Six or eight hundred weight K-Reg, so 1972 registration. And Fred Dibner, the famous, late, famous steeplejack of Bolton. Here are two of his Land Rovers, a Series 3 and a lightweight ex-military example. To Western Park in 2006, I think. A, another Chevrolet 163 UXS. We spotted this at Dover Transport Museum. Check out the video if you haven't already. This is a wonderful little Mark 1 Bedford CA pickup. Really nice original sign writing, etc. The Morris 1000. Another Tilly, this one is a standard Tilly from the Second World War. This was at the Elvington Air Museum. Another split screen VW pickup truck. Canvas tilt, partially rolled up. Very nice, very original looking Survivor. Slightly modified Mini, Mini 95, but with a saloon grill, non-original colour, Mini light wheels and a sunroof. The Morris Minor pickup. Many of these had non-factory rear bodies, and this is a what looks like a one-off wooden body that's been made for it. Really smart Austin half-ton pickup here. All integral body by this time, very much like the Utes, but this was a BMC offering. 
nice Land Rover Defender. We've had various Series 1s, 2s and 3s, but I thought we'd include at least one Defender. This is from 1985. Slightly tired looking Leyland DAF. Of course, that was based on the Sherpa of the 1970s. Drop side pickup body on it. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere very soon. And then the Immaculate P100 Ford. This is the earlier type with the Cortina style front end from 1985. We've already seen a rusty later one with the Sierra front. Very smart Chevrolet, not very modified. It's got the Fulton style sun visor. Very nice original example. Rear three quarter view of a long wheelbase Mark III Bedford CA drop side pickup truck chasing a 400E. And there's the 400E from 1965. Forward control. And to round out this collection of classic pickups, we've got a Bedford CF2 pickup from 1985. And that concludes this collection of 125 photos of classic pickups. Uh, please check out some of the other videos on the channel. There are many videos on classic lorries, vans, pickups and cars, of course. So please have a look around when you're finished here. And thanks very much for watching. More videos very soon. Bye for now.